Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7 and we are back with the new 2 million credit sport mode time trial guide that you can find in the sport mode section. Now this week's time trial is looking like one of the easiest time trials we've had to get 2 million. I believe that if most of you follow this guide you should at least be able to get the 1 million credits and a lot of you will be getting the 2 million credits for this track. It's a very simple track, not many corners to lose time on. And yeah, if this does help you out, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comment section if it helped you get them 2 million credits. So first of all, let's show you where you find this time trial and all you have to do. So simply go into sport mode and then simply click on the time trial, online time trial section there. And once you enter this section, you're gonna see, you click on this and it's gonna give you what times are needed for the gold, silver, and bronze. Remember that these times do change based on P1's time currently on the leaderboard i'm currently 2p p2 in the world at the moment on this one it's very early on but we've set a reasonable up there it will be easily gold so if you want to chase that remember you can download my ghost to chase in the time trial just simply click on the key 25 load ghost and yeah you'll be in there now i use the subaru wrx group 4 car for this time trial you can use any car that you like so let's get into this guide so try to make sure you stay reasonably tight to the apex on the final corner to get on that power nice and early and get as much exit speed before you start your lap now you're going to get the card more to the center of the track as you go over the line and stick a little bit to the left it's a slightly shorter distance so you actually gain a little bit of time before for the overall lap now we're going to be looking for the 100 board on the right hand side you're going to see it there that is our reference you can also see the shadow from the 100 board there you can use that as a reference for your braking and you're pretty much dead on the brakes exactly on that 100 board maybe a fraction after it but yeah use the 100 board as your reference now for this corner you want to use the width for the track so you actually need right hand tire onto that little bit of blue tarmac on the right hand side and make sure your left hand tire stays on the curb and then get it into this corner so you take a wide angle your left hand tire should almost graze the curb following that white line on the left and on the power super early you can see how early we were on the power there the early you get on the power there the more speed you're going to carry through this section which is completely flat out it's all about just keeping the left hand tires near the curb right hand tire then left hand tire near the curb and now we're going to go to the next braking zone we're going to be looking for that 50 board there 50 board is your brake reference as we go underneath it you're going to be able to, you're going to be getting onto the brake so just as we're underneath it braking inputs going in and this is all about about carrying speed through this fast left hand corner so using the curb again on the right hand side to widen the line in you're going to really get this car rotating in so we're going to go down to fourth gear but we're not going to go any lower than that a little bit of trail breaking in and then back on the front look how early we're back on that throttle way before the apex of the corner because we're going to go flat on that throttle use a bit of the curb again and use the grass on the right hand side you can actually use the right hand tire to go onto that grass and carry more speed through that corner now for this corner simply flat out you do not need to lift you just you getting that left hand tire as close to the curb as possible and then as soon as you're on that left hand tire curb you're going to be turning to the right hand side to get it into this right hand corner now this might sound silly but the smoother you do this will actually gain you a little bit of time so right hand tire up that curb and then completely flat out up this hill get your left hand tire onto the curb on the left now throwing it into this corner it's very important to get the right hand tire onto that curb on the right hand side to try and straighten the car up for this braking zone and one trick i do again is both braking and acceleration in at the same time to stabilize the car during this phase because this corner here is very tricky to keep the car stable so a little bit of braking and acceleration going on getting the car downshifted to third gear and you want to get this car rotated in on the apex close to the curb as much as possible you want to take a tight line through this corner so p1 you can see in front of us does a similar thing nice and tight to the apex then onto the throttle nice and early be careful of the rear as you get on the throttle there i give it a little um it gives a little bit loose on the exit there but we get up to third gear maybe lost half attempt not too much loss really there just a tiny amount and we're going to go over the line for a 55.918 currently p2 in the world that won't stay there it's going to go down probably to about 55.6 maybe I would predict 55.6, something like that, 55.5. But that'll mean that if you get anything below a 57, anything in the 56s should be good enough for the gold. So you really want to try and... I would aim for a 56.9 at least. That should be just about in with the gold time. It's not a very long track. It's a fairly simple track. There's not much time to gain. And yeah, if you use the Subaru, which is a better car, you should be okay. So watching the lap again, you can see from the chase camera, this left-hand corner is very important to your lap time. It's about carrying as much speed. You can see we don't drop below 90 miles per hour in the apex of that corner. 91, I think, was the lowest we went down to. 
and then completely flat all the way through this section now now keep an eye on that braking input you're going to see how it stabilizes the car as we approach this final corner so braking inputs with the acceleration inputs keeps that car in straight line really stable car into the braking zone now if you're doing that and you come to this and you don't do that you'll see what i mean by the car can snap on you if you're turning while braking you just get an instant snap and you'll be losing control of the car so that will help you hopefully now if this video has helped you out let me know in the comment section and yeah make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll be back with these every time there is a two million credit time trial i'll be back one of the, with one of these guys to help you out thanks again for watching everyone